Hi, uh, my name is John Savile, and in this session, I'm just actually going to look at live migration and one of the changes that has been introduced in Windows Server 2008 R2 clustering to actually facilitate the live migration process. So, just a really quick recap of what we have today in Windows Server 2008 and Hyper V RTM. So, essentially, what we can do today is we can have multiple nodes in a cluster, we have some shared storage, we effectively store virtual hard disks for the virtual machine, let's say we have the VM running here, we have the configuration, process state, everything stored on shared storage over there. If we want to move a VM, which is quick migration, from this guy over to here, essentially what happens is all of the memory of this guy is written to that disk. A new VM is provisioned over here. He reads the configuration. He reads the VHD files and the memory that has been written to disk is read and populated into this new virtual machine over here. Obviously the requirement for that is that A, for this guy to save his memory to the disk, he actually suspends, so he effectively goes to sleep during this writing of the memory. And then it takes time for that memory to be read over to the virtual machine over here. And additionally, with Windows Server 2008 and NTFS, we can only have one node accessing a LUN at any time. It's basically shared nothing. So when this guy is hosting the virtual machine, he sees that LUN. When we want to fail it over to the other node, after we've saved the memory, this LUN actually fails over. So now we own it here. He can't see it anymore. So the moving of the LUN over to this guy takes time. And obviously the saving of the memory and then writing it back to the new machine. So a new solution is required. And so what we actually have, sorry, so let's get rid of that. So really we have two problems. The first problem is when we want to be able to move a LUN from one node to the other node. That takes an amount of time. And so at minimum, the time it takes to move the LUN from one node to the other, the machine will be unavailable. That virtual machine would not be accessible. The second problem is, well, that memory transfer. Again, saving the memory to disk takes time. Reading it back from disk takes time. So we really have two new concepts in Windows Server 2008 R2 to solve this. So let's look at the memory one first. So essentially, we have our physical box, and on that physical box, we're running a virtual machine. And let's say this is the memory as a virtual machine. So we now have live migration in Windows Server 2008 R2. So one part of live migration is now, so this is currently the active node. This is hosting that virtual machine. We have another node over here. The process we now have is it actually goes ahead and while this guy, so this is still running right here, it goes ahead and starts provisioning a new holder for the virtual machine. It takes all of the memory and copies it over. So it takes the memory and block by block copies that memory over until we have the same content as we had on this guy. Now obviously copying that memory takes time. While we're doing that initial copy, well this virtual machine is still running, so things are probably going to change in this memory area. So for example, let's say this block of memory changed. 
this block of memory changed, this block of memory changed. So once it does that complete copy of the memory, it goes back and says, okay, well, which pages of memory were marked dirty? Which changed while I did my first copy? Okay, those pages changed. So it just copies over those blocks that have been made dirty. So now it's got this content, this content, and that content is now up to date again. Well, that would have been a much smaller amount of data. Maybe initially there was four gigs of memory to copy over. During the copy of the four gigs, maybe two megabytes of memory changed. So it copies over two megabytes or 10 megabytes or 20 megabytes, whatever it was. That would be much, much quicker than copying four gigs. But still, the time it took to copy that few megabytes over, maybe saying health's changed. So now there's this little chain, two changes. Again, it does the iterative copy and it keeps repeating this process. You changed that while I was copying that bit of data. Okay, just copy over those two pages. Until the changes get so small, it reaches a point where they're basically in sync. There's just maybe like a single page. I'm running out of colors now. So we've got this one tiny little difference over here. At that point, it basically puts this guy to sleep. So he suspends any changes. So up to this point, while all this is going on, any clients you had are still accessing the virtual machine on this computer. When we get to this change, that it says, okay, I'm so close now, I can do the delta, the remainder copy in millis milliseconds. It puts this guy to sleep. So he suspends activity temporarily. He then does that final little copy of any memory that's still different. So now this copy of the data is exactly the same as what is on that virtual machine. He then effectively brings this guy up. So this now becomes the real production copy of the data. There's an op um, message sent out to redirect clients and our clients connect to this guy instead. And once this is up and it's migrated, this guy is deleted. So actually D just deletes that virtual machine. So that's how the memory works. We don't copy it to disk anymore. We don't need to do that. We literally just copy the memory while it's up and running. So we copy everything. Okay, this bit changed, copy the bits that changed. While well, the bits that changed were copied, a few other little bits iterative until it's so small. Pause that guy, copy over that final little delta bit, and then bring it up over here. So then there's, there's no downtime. I mean, we have this milliseconds while it sleeps and that's the final delta. Um, you may potentially, so I'll show you a demo and I'll have a ping going as we do the live migration. It may skip one ping. Um, again, this is an M3, it's very early code. It may get even faster that delta checking, but again, applications and services are unlikely to notice a one second interruption of service. Um, TCP, the applications would resend or queue the data. You're not actually going to see any loss. So that's fantastic, the memory side. But we're missing the other part, the disk. So we have the VHD configuration, etc. is all stored on this guy. Moving him from this guy to this new box takes time. Fanning over a disk takes time. How do we get around that? So this is actually one of the, the very cool new parts of the clustering in 2008 R2. So let's just start again. We have a new capability. So we now have cluster shared volumes. And if you think of it as, let's just say we have the nodes. Let's just say we have two nodes. 